And supply side economics has become uh, to the point that it's not taught. People don't know about it. My kids have all done this stuff, economics in college, never heard about it. And it's just unbelievable to me. Maybe you could give us give us the basic uh, understanding of what supply side economics well, means. Well, let me give you the basic theorem, if I can, for one second, Brian, uh, that's so relevant today. Mm. And it's called the theorem of redistribution. And I, forgive mm. me for being a little bit academic with you, but this is math. It's not left wing. It's not right wing. It's not liberal. It's not conservative. It's not Republican or Democrat. It's just plain math. Whenever you redistribute income, all right, whenever the government redistributes it from one person to the next, all right, it always reduces total income in the society. Now, Mm -hmm. let let me just show this to you. Now, if you redistribute from those who make a little bit more and you give to those who make a little bit less, all right, by taking from those who make a little bit more, you reduce their incentives to produce and they will produce a little bit less. By giving to those who produce a little bit less, you will provide them with an alternative source of income other than working, and they too will produce a little bit less. The theorem here is unmistakable. Whenever you redistribute income, you always reduce total income. And that has been exactly the story of the last four years. With all this spending, we've had no growth. We're in a secular decline period. And let me just do, can I do the Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren sure. version of it? Yep. If yep. you were able to redistribute income to the point where everyone all came out exactly the same, there will be no income whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And let me show it to you. In order to get everyone to come out exactly the same, what you have to do is you have to tax everyone who makes above the average income 100% of the excess. Mm-hmm. And you have to subsidize everyone below the average income up to the average income. Now, if you actually did that, Brian, if you actually tax everyone above the average income 100% of the excess, and if you actually subsidize everyone below the average income up to the average income, I will stipulate today, Counselor, we'll all be equal at zero. <laughs> there will be no. I wish Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren or AOC could hear this because it, it ain't rocket surgery, as Larry Gatlin says. If, <laughs> yeah. if you tax people who work and you pay people who don't work, do right. not be surprised if you find less people working. Like we have 11 million open jobs in America today. Um, but who we've had, work? We've, we've seen a record number, a record number. I think there's 7 million uh, able-bodied men who are not in the workforce today, who are capable and able to work, who are not working. Productivity is down. Numbers are down. And here's the dynamic. And we're going to get into this in a minute with the supply side. I am I've a pretty good-sized business. I have hundreds of employees, hundreds of thousands of clients all over the world. But I spend more of my time these days working on the net income taxable consequences than I am building the next business exactly. or growing the next revenue. And I'm a serial entrepreneur. I mean, I would do it just to do it. I enjoy building businesses. I've owned over 40 businesses. I enjoy building it. I enjoy creating it. I came to America, the land of opportunity. I wrote a book about it called The Emigrant Edge and how you can come here and flourish uh, in the land of opportunity. But the truth is I spend a lot of my time today thinking about things other than growing the business uh, because the incentives are not what they were before. (laughs) 